So now in this next phase, we're going to talk about uh, how we define the activities that deliver the capabilities for the problem, for this operational analysis problem. So in this phase, um, we are now doing the defining the activities, uh, the capability operational capability called define the activities that delivers the capabilities. Um, that's being done by a, a step here called define the operational activities. Now, this is after now we've done the capabilities and the entities. So basically what we want to have is we want to know what the entities or actors are doing uh, to basically deliver the capabilities. So, that's what, and so there's two different ways we can do that. We can basically clone a diagram and start modified an existing diagram if one exists. Or you can go to the process menu here and you can find the... Uh, uh, create a new operational architecture diagram uh, and you can basically use that that OAB diagram which is noted here also uh, and create that new operational architecture uh, diagram so let's go and take a look at how we do that uh, so what I'm going to do is now I'm, I'm still in the operational analysis phase as you can see here um, I can open up uh, this view here create a new operational architecture diagram I can do that or I can go over here, and in this case, we already have one that exists. So here's one that kind of exists for the, the solar charger. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go and do the same thing I did previously with it. I'm going to basically say uh, I'm going to clone it. And then I'm going to rename it. And I'm basically going to introduce the change for the camp operator. Okay, and now I'm going to open that one up and we're going to make some changes to it. So the changes we need to make to it are to uh, introduce the some activities that have to be used to deliver the capabilities that we want. So one thing, the first thing we notice is that we don't have an operator, of course, because that was just created in the last section. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find uh, the operator. And the operator, uh, there's a couple different, there's a, right here, there's an insert tool. See this little insert tool in the upper right-hand corner? Uh, and it looks like a little line, uh, circle with a line through it. And I'll, you'll notice that I have both entities and actors. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to probably be inserting uh, just an, I think it's a, I think we defined it as an entity. Yep, we did. So it shows up here. And... That's how you basically bring the entity in. So now the new operator is brought in. Since it was created once in the model, it's it's there available, you know, always in the model. Now the you know, the other one that was modified, uh, the thing that we're talking about is this charger itself. So let's move this over because we're going to have some operations that the charger is going to have to do now. So now uh, we want to define some activities uh, to deliver that capability. So I'm going to have the charger um, have an activity called provide location and then I'll have the operator um, have an activity called location And then I'm going to connect that with an interaction called location. And likewise, I'm going to have, uh, I want to get status information. So then I'm going to have uh, a perf an activity here called send status. And I'll have an activity over here called receive status. And I'm going to connect those two with a flow called status. So that's, that's as simple as it is to basically add this new, uh, these new activities that are going to now deliver those capabilities. And you saw how we use the insert tool. And when you're done, you just go up here and you press save 
and it'll save that new diagram with the changes that you made to it.